Hi, everyone. I'm Michael Baldwin. I'm a group product manager in Google Cloud, focused on AI and industry solutions. My team leads product management across several of our priority industries. Thanks for joining us today. The pandemic has clearly caused a tremendous amount of rapid change for all of us. Today, I want to speak about ways that artificial intelligence has helped enterprises adapt to those changes. Today, I'll cover trends that we're seeing as we work with our customers, the impact on key industries, and how AI can be helpful in these moments of change with some specific examples of how Google Cloud has helped. As we monitor our own business, and especially as we partner closely with our customers, there's a number of common themes related to the pandemic. First, a number of industries are seeing significant shifts in demand, along with increased volatility. Second, with this uncertainty comes cost pressures for many businesses. And as these businesses adapt, they often face supply chain uncertainties. In some cases, suppliers may be disrupted themselves by the pandemic. In other cases, they may be struggling to keep up with spikes in demand. And across the board, it's becoming much more difficult to accurately forecast. Customer support cases have risen, with channels like call centers getting overwhelmed, and virtual work has become the new normal for many of us as people continue to social distance. And across the board, from retail to banking to media and beyond, we're seeing companies accelerate their digital transformation initiatives. And today, I'll talk to you about how AI is helping with these digital transformations. IDC recently said, no doubt the pandemic is impacting how every industry is conducting business. In some industries, AI spend will actually increase. Why is this happening? Well, we think the benefits of AI in the industries that we'll talk about today are going to be amplified by the pandemic, as we'll discuss in detail in the next section. So there are six industries that I'll talk through today. Retail, NCPG, financial services, manufacturing, healthcare and life sciences, media, entertainment, and gaming in the public sector. So first, let's start with retail. We're all consumers of retail in one way or another. Retailers have seen massive shifts in demand. There's overwhelming demand for food and drug, while specialty and department stores and non-essentials are experiencing declining demand. There's increased need for visibility into supply chains and added need to quickly replenish in-demand items. Also, it's much harder now to rely on historical data for demand forecasting. In addition, retailers need to be able to handle an increase in returns from e-commerce channels and be able to adapt to using their stores as distribution centers for uh, fulfillment through buy online and pick up in store. We also see an acceleration in digital first customer journeys. In some cases, an abrupt shift from in-store to online purchasing that puts a strain on e-commerce platforms, fulfillment operations, and customer service and support. Finally, during these difficult times, some retailers are closing stores and are hyper-focused on expense reduction to preserve liquidity. As COVID-19 accelerates the transformation to digital, retailers are looking for more tools to personalize experiences and sell online. Google Cloud's Recommendations AI solution can help retailers adapt to the changing environment by helping them sell the right product at the right time to the right customer. As an example of this, one of our customers, Digitech Galaxis, saw a 40% increase in click-through rate compared to a previous period. Next, let's talk about financial services. In banking, digital banking has increased rapidly from 63% in 2019 to 72% today. When we look at insurance, almost 50% of insurance agents cited building new customer relationships remotely as the biggest challenge during COVID-19. In the payments industry, nearly 80% of consumers use contactless payments today. And finally, the financial services industry as a whole is facing new and creative types of fraud. The dollar value of attempted fraudulent transactions grew 35% in April, year over year. We've been working with our customers using our document AI technology to help. For example, with mortgage rates low, there's a surge in mortgage applications. Using document AI, We've created a bundle of specialized models focused on specific document types used in lending and are working with lenders to speed up the processing of paper intensive mortgage applications. Also, when the US Congress authorized the Paycheck Protection Program or PPP earlier this year, we made this same technology available to help with the processing of PPP loans. Next, in manufacturing, like in many of these industries, 
there's increased cost pressures. Also, workforce capacity is expected to decline due to things like age, absenteeism, skill shortage, and economic pressures, all accelerated by COVID-19. The pandemic has brought about an increased focus on safety and health mandates. And finally, as many of these manufacturers are supporting the supply chains of these other industries, they themselves are facing unpredictable demand cycles. An example of how cloud AI is helping related to the safety and health mandates that I mentioned earlier is how our vision API can be used for worker safety. The cloud vision API uses AI to detect objects, emotions, text, and more to help derive insights. So for this example, it can be used to detect essential protective gear, including hard hats, gloves, face masks, um, and goggles. To detect, uh, also it can be used to detect distancing compliance from other workers in close environments and to monitor proximity to machinery and hazardous sites. The healthcare industry has been on the front lines of many of the pressures and changes brought about by the pandemic. Large health systems saw revenue plummet in areas like elective care. And elective care has been slowly resuming after a 10 week hiatus. However, smaller hospitals in some cases are struggling to stay open. Providers are beginning to embrace telehealth with many visits now being conducted virtually. And this is a trend that we expect to largely persist. Payers have seen a surge in COVID-19 claims However, these have been offset by a reduction in overall claims, and payers are working to adapt their plans to cover telehealth. The pharma supply chains are stretched thin, and there's a need to transport time-sensitive COVID-19 tests and vaccines around the world. And finally, the industry is moving to virtual clinical trials. So an example of how cloud AI is helping here is using as how an, a U.S. hospital used our natural language API to analyze unstructured data from patient inquiries across multiple channels to more accurately predict and triage COVID-19 patients. Next, there's media, entertainment, and gaming. If your family is anything like my family, shelter-in-place policies have increased media streaming consumption and gaming. But content production has been paused in many cases with sports leagues, physical productions, and major gaming titles experiencing slowdowns in production throughput. Because of the slowdown in production, it's more important than ever to leverage existing content and find flexible ways to produce new content. And all of this, like in other industries, is placing additional emphasis on cost efficiency and flexibility. An example of how AI is helping is the collaboration between Google Cloud and Fox Sports to enable Fox's employees to seamlessly search video archives for specific footage using artificial intelligence. By surfacing relevant videos quickly, media companies are able to activate library content faster. And also, as live sports come back, this capability will allow producers to more quickly take library footage and integrate it with, with live clips. The public sector at all levels of government, is working to rapidly modernize the delivery of essential services, as millions seek support for unemployment, healthcare, payroll, and public health measures. Government agencies and academic institutions, just like their counterparts in the private sector, are moving to digital platforms and collaboration tools to maintain operations. And amid this rapid shift, there's a continued focus on data privacy and security. Finally, like we talked about in other areas of the economy, Governments and schools are facing cost pressures and are being asked to operate with efficiency and flexibly. The state of New Jersey's Department of Labor worked with Google Cloud to deploy an AI-powered virtual chatbot to provide real-time answers to the 20 most common unemployment questions. And we'll talk through some more examples from the public sector later. Now let's go into more detail with some specific examples where Google Cloud AI has been partnering closer, closely with our customers. I'll talk about three areas. First, contact center AI, including virtual agents. Second, applying our lending AI solution to the Paycheck Protection Program. And third, how new features in Google Meet have been supporting remote work. First, let me share a quick overview of our contact center AI solution. Contact center AI helps deliver exceptional customer service and increased operational efficiency using artificial intelligence. It does this in a few ways. First, with Dialogflow, it automates basic chat and voice interactions. Next, with Agent Assist, it makes human agents more effective. And third, 
With Contact Center AI Insights, it unlocks insights about call drivers and customer service interactions. As the pandemic took hold, and we saw that many call centers were becoming overwhelmed, our cloud AI teams quickly built and implemented a customized Contact Center AI virtual agent to respond to questions related to COVID-19. The rapid response virtual agent has been deployed across government and healthcare. I mentioned the state of New Jersey's Department of Labor earlier. In addition, the state of Illinois' Department of Employment Security also uses this solution to address unemployment inquiries with more than 2.6 million voice and chat interactions handled by the virtual agents so far. In healthcare, Penn Medicine has enabled 24 seven access to COVID-19 information for concerned citizens using this capability. Next, Document AI is a solution that helps organizations unlock insights from their mountains of documents using artificial intelligence. It turns unstructured data into structured data, which means you can now understand it and utilize it. In the United States, the Small Business Administration's Paycheck Protection Program made funding available to help businesses keep their workforces employed during the COVID-19 crisis. As you might expect, this led to a massive increase in loan applications needing to be processed. Building on top of our Document AI solution, we created the Paycheck Protection Program Parser to enable lenders to use artificial intelligence to extract structured information from loan documents submitted by applicants. This can save time, can be implemented quickly and securely, and improves the customer experience by making the loan process more efficient. Finally, Many of us are now familiar with remote work as the new normal. Our customers at Google Cloud have not only adopted video for traditional team meetings, but have also adopted video for new use cases, including virtual all hands, frontline trainings, and customer engagement. In fact, these are all ways me and my team at Google have used video just in the past week, and we see our customers doing the same. However, when you're having a virtual meeting, there's nothing more distracting than noise interference. Perhaps people chatting in the background, a colleague pounding on their keyboard as they take notes, or the shuffling of papers. The Google Meet team has used AI to limit these distractions by intelligently filtering out background noises in real time. And now we'll play a short video showing you how this works. Hey, I'm boarding in a minute. Sorry, it's kind of loud here. Hey, I'm boarding in a minute, but let's dive in real quick. As you can see, with artificial intelligence, we can limit these distractions and make the meeting much more efficient. As another example of this, earlier we talked about how the healthcare industry is shifting to telehealth. For example, the Cambridge Health Alliance is an example of a health system with over 6,000 staff and 140,000 patients in Massachusetts that uses Google Meet to support staff and caregivers, and the solution has become an integral part of the team's work. They've conducted more than 1,200 telemedicine visits to date, and their teams are conducting over 1,000 meet sessions per day for collaboration. And that brings us to the end. So to wrap things up, we know this is a difficult time. The pandemic has forced companies and governments to evolve at a rapid pace. At Google Cloud, we're here to help you reach your goals more quickly and to adapt to your unique needs using AI and ML. And as you can see from the examples that we've talked through today, AI isn't a science experiment. It's being used to solve real world problems in business and the public sector. Thanks for tuning in, and we wish you, your family, your friends, and colleagues all the best during these challenging times. If you're interested in learning more about any of the solutions that I discussed today, you can visit cloud.google.com slash solutions slash AI to get in touch and get started. We look forward to hearing from you, and thank you.